Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all really well. Thank you, first of all, so much for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I really appreciate it, and it it cheers me up every day. I love it. It's really good. Um, also, I will be getting some extra. I'm working hard today. Get some extra videos out today for the chakras, um, and we're going to dive straight into the cards. And it's Friday, the 12th of June. So this is going to cover Friday the 12th of June, Saturday the 13th, and Sunday the 14th of June. So these are your weekend cards. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope they help. And let's see what our angels are having to say to us. So we're starting off with caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and will often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. And there she goes, my darling husky. You have chosen this card in all likelihood because you are probably already have been in a caretaker role or about to start or you'll have to start caring for somebody that you love. This card is a timely reminder to ensure you don't forget yourself in the process no matter what type of care is being given whether it is emotional support or hands on it's easy to let all your energy dissipate leaving you feeling drained disinter disinterested or at times feeling down please look after yourselves as much as possible if this is what you're doing if you're having to look after a loved one maybe a, uh, an elderly parent or you know part of the family or you work in a care home or you're in whatever the capacity is that you're working as a caregiver um, try and look after yourself as well because you need your own energy to be able to, to care for people and if you're not looking after yourself you are going to get drained you're going to you're going to feel tired you're not going to be able to to give as much care as you want so try and look after yourself as much as you can remember that we're all made up of energy and that energy is very precious and very delicate and it needs to be preserved and honored take time for yourself nurture yourself with self-care such as a massage oh, i wish a massage meditation or walks in nature allowing your body, your mind and your spirit to open up and absorb pos positive and healthy energy so that when you return to care mode, you feel healthy, strong and revitalized. So if you can get a massage, congratulations. I'm very jealous. <laughs> no, get what you can, do what you can to look after yourselves and get your, your energies back up and stay there because yes the person that you are caring for is very very important and you probably care and love them very very much you have to love yourself as well our next card this morning is seek the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made up of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one with spirit and we will always be connected to one another. The spirit world is sending you this card because we feel that you may be forgetting that you're a multi-dimensional being. So we want to remind you that you're a spiritual being as well as a physical being. Remember that you were a, you were a spiritual being first and you're in a physical body. Our physical body is just our, our, our vessel. Now is the time to stop seeing anything on a, everything on a limited physical level and seek out the spiritual in all things. Learn to see from your heart and your soul. Seek out the spiritual beauty in all things as well as in the people around you. If you're having difficulty understanding somebody, try looking beyond what you're seeing in front of you. Layer upon layer of life issues may be disguised in the goodness that's inside them making that person seem mean, resentful or spiteful. Equally, some individuals may appear aloof or distant, which is a form of protective armour. And we've seen this, we see it so many times in other people and in relationships and, and you know, friends and family, 
we do put up barriers you know we do that for our, our own protection you know maybe we're, we're, we're interacting with somebody and we feel uncomfortable with them or we feel like they're they're threatening in some way and we do we put up barriers um so just be aware of that over the weekend if you come across people like that <coughs> it's not their fault it's more it's it's their way of looking after themselves sometimes which <coughs> can be a destructive way in some ways but that's how the only way they know how to do it is to be like that or be resentful of others because they've got their own issues to deal with. You may have worked hard, we've worked hard on, on getting rid of our conditioning, our layers of everything that's been put on us, our, our almost programming over the years and we, we've, we've gradually got rid of it all and we've cleared it all but not everybody has and we can see things differently but you know others can't so do, do, do. it may be really hard at first but know that a divine spirit exists within these people pray that the goodness in you honors the goodness in them and that the goodness in them honors the goodness within you <coughs> so just yeah, just look for the good in people, whatever, whatever's happening, whatever's going on in your life today, over the weekend, look for the good in people. And and honour yourself in front of them. Um, don't get into their arguments, don't get into their pettiness. Stand, stand back a little bit from that and just see that these are just layers. They're just layers. They don't live in the moment. Maybe they're still concentrating on things that have happened in the past. Maybe they're dwelling on things too much. So if you try being nice to them and smile at them and treat them how you would want to be treated, it may. You know, our relationships, everything around us are just mirrors and reflections of us up to a certain point. So if we try being nice to them, hopefully they'll be nice back again and if they're not we just have to be understanding of that our last card this morning or well, the weekend is soul power and again it is saying always remember you're a soul that comes with a body not the other way around your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it you drew this card to be reminded of how powerful you are as a soul. Your outside physical world right now might be hectic and you might be pulling away from what your soul is trying to help you with. The answers you seek may not be forthcoming from the outside world, but wise wisdom and guidance can be found within you. We know that as soon as you ask a question, pretty much we already know the answer because it's already inside us that's why we're asking the question we just have to go within and look for it your soul will often try and get your attention through your dreams or little synchronistic intuitive nudges when you feel these close your eyes breathe calmly and deeply and ask your soul for guidance with any situation you're experiencing at the moment you may see a picture or a symbol or you may experience a feeling or hear something or a whisper. Trust in what you receive. Even if the answer is not immediate, your soul will open up and guide you at this time. Be open to the wisdom and honour of how powerful the real you really is. So all these little nudges and everything, it's like you might get a concept of a picture, you may hear a scrap of information, you may hear something in a conversation, and it will be a step towards finding that answer and looking for it. So just be open to listening and you won't get, you may not get the answer all in one go. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have an angel fly down, stand in front of us and say, right, this is your answer you're looking for. They do it in different ways. They do it in signs and symbols. 
but if you look at it if you see something if you hear something get an intuitive nudge it's part it might be just part of the answer so just be open and as you carry on throughout your weekend something else might come along that you can link with the first one like a puzzle and just link them together until the answer starts to come through and then you'll get your aha moment and go ah I know what they're talking about now I understand now I know what my answer is and it will just come to you in a flash of inspiration it will all come together you have to be open to it so those are your cards for the weekend so stay open be nice to anybody who's not nice backwards back to you just remember them and have a beautiful wonderful weekend it's gorgeous and sunny here in the UK so hopefully it's gorgeous and sunny and warm where you are um, enjoy your weekend have a great one um, I'm working and getting some stuff out over the weekend so look out for that coming out and um, I think I'll be doing another talk with Christopher Bryan anybody who didn't see that uh, the, the hangout which we had a few technical problems with but we got it done in the end um, on awakenings um, <laughs> tribes night of the dark soul oh god we spoke about all sorts of things but um, if you click on the the hangout link uh, that's in my videos and have a watch of that that's really interesting um, I've got a couple of chakras up uh, for you to look at I'm going to work on getting the rest of those out um, but your my third eye third eye video has been done uh, and my root chakra as well has also been done so have a look at those um, they should should interest you and namaste take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon